Hi everyone! Welcome again to another tutorial video. In last video, I showed you guys about developing a nice image editor in easiest way. We were using the open source library photo.js. Just very quickly let me go over what we did in the last video. We were able to select one image, and it was displaying in our page. We added few buttons to apply different filters on the image, clicking on each button. We could see the final outcome of the selected image. And finally, there was a download button. Clicking on that, the edited image used to get downloaded. Today we shall continue from this point onwards. If you have not seen first part of the video, just go to channel code board and check out the part 1 of this image editor development tutorial series. So today I shall add few more buttons to add some advanced functionalities. Let me just mention that. Currently I shall not go behind the look and feel of the page that much, rather I shall focus on adding functionalities, and later I shall fix the UI for better look. Let me first add a section, to put few buttons just below the select image area. I am adding three buttons here for crop, flip and rotate functionalities. You can notice, I am adding on click function against each of these buttons. Also I have added a range input type. The purpose of it I shall discuss later. Now let me fix the styling here a bit. Okay, now I shall add three more buds at the below, where already few other buds are present. Three filtering buds I am adding here, along with on click function name. Please notice that I have added two color input types. Again let me go to the CSS to fix the styling a bit. We are fine with the UI for now. Just let me mention once again that, the photo.js library is an open source library. It is hosted in GitHub and developed by me. This is free to use. The development of this library is still ongoing. You can see the last commit is made by me few hours ago. I have added few nice features and fixed few minor bugs in the library. The minimized version of this library you can copy and use in your project directly. But I created a CDN to use it in our project. As the library has been updated, the CDN URL is also changed than what was in last video. Let me update that URL in HTML section. URL I shall add in video description for your reference. Now we shall start the JavaScript coding. Before that let me request you, please subscribe to the channel code board for many such interesting application development videos. Your subscription, like and comments motivates me to create tutorials for all of you. We shall start coding from the colorize buds functionalities. In HTML section, you can see that we have an onclick function for the bud, named open color picker, and above that in the input type equals to color. We have another function make colorize, which will be invoked when color picker value will be changed. Let's define those functions in JavaScript section. Okay, we are done with just a few lines of coding. Let's test the functionality. First select one image. and click on colorize button. It will open a color picker. Select any color and you will get a different effect. Selecting different color multiple times in different sequence will give you some amazing effect on your image. Let's proceed with color filter functionality. In HTML you can see this is quite similar with the previous bot. It also has a method in onclick. And the color picker has a function to be invoked when value will be changed. Now we shall define those functions in JavaScript section. Just let me mention that, as the color picker was not looking great with our UI, so I made it hidden in. And on the button click, I am performing click event on the color picker element to open it. Let's test the color filter functionalities. Select one image again, and select one color from the color picker. You will get to see the effect on the image. 
Based on the selection of color, it will basically give you an effect, like you are seeing the image from behind a glass of selected color. Now we shall proceed for the transparent functionality. In HTML you can see that the button has onclick function similar to the earlier ones. Now apart from button there is a div with id color dash preview. I shall discuss the purpose of it soon enough. Let me go to the JavaScript section for defining the make transparent function. Before writing any code, let me show you beautiful functionality of photo.js library. First let me select one image, and now press Ctrl key, and click on any part of the image. You can see that, the color at the click point is showing in the color dash preview div. So if you keep any div with id color preview, its background will be automatically filled up by selected color from the image, and clicking on transparent bud, will make that particular color regions transparent. Let's first write the make transparent function in JavaScript. It is a just a single line code. To test the functionality, let me select one image with green background. Now if I click on green section of the image, pressing the control key, you can see the selected color has appeared in the below area. Now clicking on transparent bud, will make the image background transparent. Now I shall proceed with crop and flip functionalities. In HTML you can see, both of these buds have onclick method. Let's define those. These are pretty simple and straightforward. Let's test the functionalities. You can select a portion of image by dragging mouse. Now you can crop that particular area of the image. Let's reload the page to select another image for showing you the flip functionality. It will flip the image directly, like a mirror effect. Let's check combining two functionalities together, cropping the image first, and then flipping it. We have one last button left in UI that is rotate. Let me go to the HTML. You can see, the button has an onclick function display range, but it is not required now. Initially I kept it thinking that, I shall keep the range input hidden and later show it on button click. But range is not looking that much ugly here, so I just kept it as it is. So let's remove this part. And there is a method in range inputs change event. Let's define that in JavaScript. Let me select one image now. And you can see changing the range input rotating the image nicely. So, that's it guys for today. There are still few minor bugs in the library, and I am working on it. In next video I shall try to add few more functionalities, and then we shall proceed to fix the UI, and converting this application into a mobile app. So just subscribe to my channel and click on notification bell icon, to stay updated about upcoming videos. Let me know. If you have any feedback about this video in comments section. See you in next video. Thank you all.